something good. Oh my, my pants are all, got a big old wedgie. Just let them down. Are you free balling it today, brother? No, we actually, you got boxers. Oh man, what I've are you doing? I've the same pair on all week. So. That's cool. Yeah. That's gangster. I have had my weekly. Guys, guys, come on down here real quick. I just want to share like a closing kind of. Yeah, man. You know, closing this. <laughs> 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 Hey, hey guys, come on down. Come on down. So, so guys, what I wanted to really talk about here for a second was I just wanted to do one final, just kind of sharing from the heart, right? Because, I mean, what after hanging out with you guys and, you know, spending a lot of time. I just actually got super distracted because you got that lemon in your mouth. And you're like, oh, you're so and I was like, is that like a... I wondered what that was. So, here, here is what I wanted to say, though, was that a lot of you came down, I think, to learn how to make a whole bunch of money, right? But I think what you're leaving with is a change in perspective in life. And a lot of you have, I've seen personally having breakthroughs this weekend. I talked to a lot of you on Thursday. I talked to a lot of you on Wednesday, right? When we were hanging out down here. And those of you who don't know my story, obviously a lot of cameras were going. I was a, an addict, a drug addict, and not just any drug addict. I was the type of drug addict who was the low bottom drug addict. I wasn't the guy who was just hanging out in the bars and hanging out, you know, just smoking a joint every once in a while. I was an IV drug user. I hung out in crack houses and I was homeless for 10 years. So my story was one of those stories to where I didn't need just a small breakthrough, I needed a big breakthrough. And I've had a lot of big breakthroughs. But what I knew might happen was people would have breakthroughs this weekend. I didn't know how big of breakthroughs that, that people would have. I saw personalities change. Scott, if you'd come up here real quick, brother. I was just talking to this guy. And appreciate you, man. We've got a hand, guys. So, those of you who are inside of the training today know that Scott came up and shared, you know, your story with us. And, uh, you know, I can tell you that I talked to Scott on Thursday night. And the th what you talked, the way that you were on Thursday night was completely different than the way that you are tonight. You're a completely different man. And I'm not saying that I, I, I'm up here to show the proof of what can happen when you make a decision and you show up. On Thursday night, you talked about a couple of issues that you were struggling with, and I told you that you, that you give, you need to take your power back instead of giving your power to whatever issue it was in your life. And essentially, to not try to get somebody else to take responsibility for your decisions, but you take responsibility for them yourself. And today we were in the training, and Aki spoke up and said, you know, Scott had a, had a story that, or an experience, a testimonial about the inner circle, that, you know, you were going to commit suicide, essentially. This is a common thing that not a lot of people talk about, right? But a lot of people deal with this, and a lot of people feel the same feelings that he was feeling, right? But very rarely do people come out in, in such a large group feel comfortable enough to say something. And I'm not going to say that, that it's because of us. I'm going to say that it's because of you, right? It was a combination of both things that you were able to do that. Mm -hmm. I could see your knees knocking. I could see your hands shaking. But you pushed through that fear. You pushed through the feelings that you had. And now we were just talking over there and just real quick, if you, you know the cameras are on but obviously <laughs> kind of like they were today yeah, yeah. but if you would just share just real quick um, just a little bit about what you told me over there all right well basically what I was telling you is uh, I was always looking for to place a decision on someone else whether it's a trying to find a psychiatrist or trying to find a friend like what I would do is I, w I would find a you know say I meet somebody and I'm gonna get intimate later on with a friend then I'd maybe share a deep issue with them what I found out that wasn't actually solving anything um, wasn't solving my deep issue because I was trying to get someone else to help me solve it, you know, in, in the wrong in the wrong way. I was trying to get them to make a decision, but able just going through this and meeting everybody here and talking to David Sharp, I was able to realize that you know 
it's just it's just me, and I was able to make my own decision basically, you know. And uh, it's it's been life changing experience coming out here, definitely. So. Yeah. He said it so casually, and this guy says nuggets. Like Scott right here, yeah. he's got these nuggets. So like he'll be just start talking, and he says something brilliant. I just stop him twice. But when he was, um, when he was like, I was talking to him, he's like, yeah, I was listening to them circle, and you know, I was gonna kill myself and then save my life. <laughs> like, what? And then he was like, blah, blah, blah. He started, he got an ADD. Yeah. 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 Yeah.